Okay. Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to another exciting year of fantasy football. Um, I'm your host, Mike Tompkins, putting everything together. And uh, today I'm going to be sh going through a mock draft. Um, it says expert 12 team up there. It's, it is what it is. There's, there's beginner pro and expert. My, if you go into a mock draft, they're all, they're all kind of the same. It's my, it's kind of my understanding. It's, it's not really expert or pro or whatever. It's anyway, it, that's what it all boils down to. But I want to show you just kind of what it looks like. Go through the process of a, of a mock draft. We're going to be going through the, we're going to be going through the, we're just going to be going through the five. We have five bench spots in our, in our league this year. We are trying to prevent stock, uh, player stockpiling. Um, this makes the, this makes the, the league more fun and competitive. You, you know, you know, you don't have people who are hogging players, so to speak. You don't need two quarterbacks on your team. You don't need two tight ends, really. I mean, you can if you want to, but. You don't need two kickers. You don't need two defenses. <laughs> the purpose of the bench is to slot one of those guys in if a player gets injured or there's a bye week or something like that. Um, you know, if you, if, if you, uh, you know, and, and that's really just, you just really need like two, two wide receivers and two running back backups. The fifth position, or I mean, you can have whatever you want, but the fifth position, the fifth bench, is really a burner spot. Um, it's just to kind of burn, burn a player off, whatnot. If you have a quarterback, if you have a quarterback, you know who need who has a bye week, well, you can put your quarterback there and put, you know, get one from the uh, get one from the waiver wire, that kind of thing. So that's uh, that's that, and that's the gist of it, anyway. So yeah, let's let's we're gonna move it to five bench and uh, slot number five is a burner, and yeah, we'll we'll kind of go from there, but. Yeah, it's going to be a fun time, but so I'm just going to, I'm just giving you an example. I'm not showing you my personal strategy or showing you really the much of a strategy, so to speak. It's just going through the system functionality of what everything looks like. Um, you know, how to, how to uh, go through the process of using the system to draft your team. That's all this is. <laughs> so we'll have a, uh, it'll, it'll be good to kind of show you, you know, when you're in fantasy football, it's like it's a little bit like the stock market or, or any kind of an investment. You know, you got your players you want, and uh, you go out. You know, you got to go out there and do your own due diligence. You got to go out there and and uh, you know do do your math or homework or whatever, and, and find the guys you want, and you know figure out which guys you don't want. I guess we can we can go on in. And um, but yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit like picking a stock. You know, the players go up and go down. You know, they're their performances go up and go down. It's about consistency. It's, you know, it's just um, having a plan and sticking to it to some degree. And, uh, you know, it, if you're in the, you know, I've, so I, I picked pick number six. It's just, this is just a very vanilla Magoo kind of, uh, <laughs> kind of, again, I'm just showing you the functionality. So, you know, you should have a strategy if you're the first three or four picks and you need to have a strategy if you're the, if you're in the back end. Uh, you know, three or four. So, um, you know, you you got to decide, do you want to go running back early? Do you want to go wide receiver early? Do you want to go the zero running back method? Um, picking, going heavier on the, uh, going heavier on the tight end quarterback position and, and the uh, wide receiver positions and picking a running back later, that kind of thing. So, yeah, go out there and do your own, you know, this is supposed to be fun. You know, go out there and, you know, kind of do some research on the players, you know, who's, who gets injured, who doesn't, you know, who, you know, do some players, you know, who do some play, players play, uh, you know, better. A anyway, you know, some, some players, obviously players are going to play well with a good quarterback. Well, there are other players out there who, who play well regardless. They play well with a good quarterback or, you know, a quarterback that's, you know, just okay. So, um, that kind of thing, you know. Also, you know, where where are you, do you want to pick a quarterback early? Do you want to go late on a quarterback? That kind of thing. So, it's all, you know, there's a, there's a lot of different methods to drafting a team. So, what we're really doing here is we're, we're just picking the best available player. All I'm, that's all we're going to do here. We're not going through any any strategies or anything like that. We're just going through the functionality of using this ESPN system. My goal here is if this, you know, we'll, 
have, get a get a good video out here we can you know I can use this for the next several years or whatnot when just to, just showing you guys an example of, you know just kind of getting around that kind of thing ooh Travis Kelsey you know Travis Kelsey is the popular pick this year I'm gonna pick him um, he's he's the best he's the best available right here uh, and it he accomplishes what we're trying to accomplish in this video so we'll go Kelsey um, so yeah so Another thing I wanted to show you is this auto pick feature. Um, you can let the computer pick for you, and that's not a bad. It's not a bad strategy, so to speak, if you really don't know what you're doing and you just want to stay competitive. I mean, when we go to the real draft here in a couple of weeks, I mean, you can literally have the computer pick for you, and your team's going to be competitive. I mean, the computer usually picks pretty well, so if you toggle this auto pick, you're now on auto pick. The computer is going to figure out what you need, what you need the most. What what position here do you need? Do you need uh, you know? Do you need the worst? And if, if it's a quarterback, um, it's going to go Pat Mahomes. I mean, if it's a running back, it's going to go Bijan Robbins. I mean, so the, the the computer decides what you need the most, and then it picks the best available player at that position that's at the very top. Uh, you know, wide receiver is you know Devontae Adams. You know. Um, so yeah, so that's how that works. Um, that's how the auto pick works is you're letting the, the computer pick for you and it figures out which position you, you need and it'll pick the best player available at that position. It's not rocket science. It's not really, you know, it's not some big thing. It's just, it's kind of a, it's kind of a fun, kind of a, a helpful feature if you really can't decide. So, so yeah. Um... Yeah, da, 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 da. we're just going to be going. I'm just going to be doing five. We're just going to be going five, uh, five deep this time in this draft. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll go through the process of the bench, but I mean, we're only going five deep this year. Again, we want to stay competitive. We, we want to prevent stock player stockpiling. You know, if your, if your quarterback goes out, you can still go out there and find a, a decent quarterback. You know, you're not, you're not done for the season or anything. So, you know, again. It, but if your tight end goes out, you can go out there and still find a decent tight end on on the streaming waiver wire. So that's that's what a um, a smaller bench accomplishes, and it makes the it makes the league more competitive and it makes it more fun. So that's what we're going to try this year, and I'm I'm hoping if I got to move it to six, if I have to move it to uh, six bench, yeah, I'll I'll do it. But let's let's try five. I think that's good. That, that's a good that's a good number right there. All right, who's the best available player? Jalen Waddle. Let's see. T. Higgins, Jalen Waddle. Let's see. Oh, I'm on, well, I'm on wide receiver. Sorry. I want to go. I want to go. Here we go. Here, this is. I want to go to all positions right now. And uh, wow, Josh Jacobs is up there. So we're gonna. It's, it's sometimes can be good to go running back early. So we're gonna go with Josh Jacobs. That's just. That he's the best guy right now. He's that I that I that I like anyway. So. Yeah, some people say go running back early. I mean, some people, there's also a zero RB strategy where you, you pick all your other, you kind of pick all your other uh, spots first. You pick your you pick your uh, wide receiver, your quarterback, your tight end, and then you pick a, a running back like later. Um, you know, not not going to dissuade you at all. You know, sometimes a zero, a zero running back, hey, you know, zero RB has won, you know, in the past. Um, so... Can't really knock any strategy. Uh, you just got to go with what feels comfortable for you. And <clears throat> again, you got to do you got to do your due diligence on these players. You got to put in the time and figure out the players you you like and that you don't don't like. And that you know that's how fantasy football football works. You know some that's that's kind of what makes the world go around. You know some some people some league some league uh, members may may like players you don't like. So you know that's. It all kind of evens out at the end, but um, yeah, so, you know, some, and then again, another strategy, some people like picking a quarterback earlier if they want to get it out of the way. Um, you know, like some people like picking a quarterback later, you know, that they, they, you know, they, some of the quarterbacks can add a lot of value, have a lot more value um, to some degree later in the rounds, you know, you know, Pat, Pat Mahomes or Jalen Hurts might put up 400 points, but you know, you, you look at a, a Daniel Jones or um, or someone like a, a Daniel Jones or maybe a um, maybe a uh, what's the guy's name? I'm going, going 
uh, oh yeah, or like a, a Trevor Lawrence or a Daniel Jones might put up, you know, you know, 315, 320 points, and you know that's that can be good enough. Um, so wow, so we got we got Jailer. So you know what? Why not? Why not go? Why not pick a pick a big, really great quarterback here? We'll we'll just uh, we'll pick Jalen Hurts. He, I think he's he's gonna have a really good year, and uh, why not? He's right there. Let's get him. <laughs> um, I mean. Yeah, so again, it's it's your preference. It's you know, it's all about you. What do you what do you feel comfortable? What kind of strategy do do you feel comfortable uh, feel comfortable uh, feel ah feel comfortable going with? So, but yeah, so again, this is what it looks like. Auto pick. If you don't feel comfortable, you got the computer picking for you what you need. So right now, I need a running back. So if I had this on auto pick and the computer decided that I needed a running back really bad, it would at this point it would pick Ramondre Stevenson. It's just going through auto pick is just going through what you it decides what area what position you need the most and then it goes and picks the best available player at the very top. That's all that the auto pick does. So I know I'm kind of rambling, going around in circles, but again, this is just this video is just for. Um, it's just it's just an instructional video on on what this draft of what the what the draft system looks like that's it and how to how to pick your players and how to get around and if i need a running back oh i don't even have any wide receivers what's what's there what are you know this is 2023 projected this shows you how they did last season you can go here and see what did they, what did they do last season and kind of go up here and toggle this and and whatnot so um, I'm going to go back to all positions again, and we're going to go through the, this, when you, when you sort it by rank, it, it just goes through ADP, which is, um, the average, uh, ADP, average, average death position, or I think that's what that is, it added, added death position, or, ab anyway, so I need a wide receiver, so let's go with, yeah, we'll just go with Amari Cooper, all right, so, um, yeah, so, average Average draft position. Average draft position. I think it's something like that. So that's what the ADP is. So that's what the rank is. It, it's the ADP, the uh, the draft position that they're normally going in from this uh, from other. I think it takes into account. It averages what all the other mock drafts are doing, and then it kind of puts them there. I've seen some of these players go up, some of these players go down. I know Dalvin Cook. Um, I think Dalvin Cook went up just a little bit recently after he signed with the Jets, um, so that kind of thing. So, all right, what do we what do we have? What do we need now? We're in the fifth. We need a. We already got our tight end. We got our quarterback. We need another running back or a wide receiver. So uh, yeah. So let's uh, let's see. We'll hang, hang loo we'll hang loose here, so to speak, and see what see what we get. Um, Hopefully, the, hopefully this, uh, hopefully the mock draft doesn't take too long. But again, this is gonna, this is getting recorded, so you can, you can, you can, for, you can fast forward or rewind or go to whatever spot you want in the, in this draft. But yeah, you know, like I said, this is, this is just getting through the functionality of, of the program. This is just, that's all this is. I'm just showing you how it works. <laughs> um, you'll need to find your own strategy and be able to pick your own players and say, oh well. Uh, Kenneth Walker down there, I really want him. Or Alexander Madison or DJ Moore, I really, I really want them. They're not at the very top, but I'm going to go up there and grab them anyway. So, um, so yeah, we'll, we'll just see what comes away. I'm at the 22-22 season. You can toggle this right here. It shows you what they did last year. So fantasy points, fantasy points. This kind of shows you what they did last year. Uh, we'll just take it up here again. Go by rank. You know, Christian Watson, you know, Miles Sanders, Alexander, anyway. Well, I'm going to go up, so, eh, Christian Watson. I'm going to go up here and grab, T I'm going to go up here and grab Terry McLaurin. I think he's going to have a really good year, so, yeah, here we go. So, I went up and got a guy. Um, you don't, this is a good example where you don't necessarily have to get the best player at the, at its, at the ADP. At this point, you know, you want, you, you see a guy that's really, really good, at, you know, that can play and, and you don't like any of the, any of these guys as much, which I don't mind it. Um, 
I just saw Terry McLaurin on there, and I know he's a really good wide receiver. But, um, but yeah, I mean, you, you can go up and get players. You don't want to go up too much. I mean, not unless you necessarily have to. But, I mean, this kind of shows you, you know, from a from a league and a mock perspective, you know, how, how other mock drafts and how other, other league pickers, you know, figure it out, you know, they decide kind of where these players go, so to speak. So that's this is where they're usually getting drafted. You know, Christian Watson is at the 48th position. You know, T.J. Hawkinson's getting drafted in the 50. You know, number 54. It's so, and other other systems might be different. ESPN has this ranking of where these players are at. Well, you know, Yahoo might be different. I think Fantasy Pros has their own system, so they're you know. This is just the ESPN system. Other systems might have these players ranked differently, which I'm sure they do. So, but yeah, so um, we're still looking at our starters. So what do we, what do we need? Do we, looks like we need a running, looks like we need a running back. So I'm going to go over here to the all positions. And uh, just for sake of this instructional video, we want to go to running backs and we want to see what the best available, available is. And uh, David Montgomery might have a good year. Um, see James Cook up there, Javante Williams. Um, I think Javante Williams has been known to have some injuries. Um, that's just kind of what I've heard through the grapevine. So if, if you guys, you know, just be aware that these guys do get injured. These guys can get hurt. And, and they, they probably will at some point during the season. And you have to plan for that. That's what your bench guys are for. You know, your, your bench is the best of whatever you didn't pick, but it's, the, you know, they're, they're on the bench, so they're still pretty good. We got James Cook up there, so we need a running back, so we're going to pick James Cook. That's all that is, so. Um, so, yeah, so. Um, again, we're going through here. We, we uh, for us, I, I like DraftKings. I like the DraftKings system. So what I've done for our league this year is the DraftKings has one quarterback, two running backs, three wide receivers, a flex position, and a flex position, and they have and they have defensive special teams. What I've decided to do is get, I like the DraftKings strategy there, but I decided to get creative with it with our group this year. This may change at some point, but but it worked well last year, and that is we have one quarterback one running back, two wide receivers, and three flex. And I've done that because it's extremely it's extremely beginner friendly when you do that. You don't have to worry about, oh gosh, you know, all you have to worry about really is is one running back and two wide receivers. A, the, with a flex, you can put anybody pretty much in just about anybody back there, a wide receiver, a running back, or a tight end. So the system is it, while I, I like the versatility, it's extremely user friendly. So that's why I have a three flex plan um, in our uh, in our you know in our uh, league league makeup, if you want to call it that. All right, what do we got? Okay, so now we're now we're down to uh, now we're down to flex players or whatnot or you know most of the time on a defensive kicker these you you can literally stream these. I mean so I mean while it's good to get. While it's really good to get a, uh, if you want to get a good def go up and get a good defense or a good kicker, eh, it's fine, but they're not necessarily going to make or break your season, um, so to speak. So right now, what what do we have is what do we have is the best available. We got Cam Akers, so we need a flex. So Cam Akers is the best. So we got Cam Akers, Christian Kirk. Um, we we'll just go with Cam Akers. He's the best available right now, and so we'll just grab him. So, boom, that's it, done. Um, and this is, a, this is a strategy within itself of what we're going through. Um, you know, picking the best, the best available player at the time is also a strategy within itself. And while, again, while I'm only going through the process of, of this system functionality and how everything works and that sort of thing, you know, what, what we're doing here can be a strategy also within itself is just picking the best available player. And a lot of people do that. You know, you, you never know. It's, you never know. I mean, you might have a player, you might have a player that you really, really want, but I mean, they're, 
they're kind of close to the top, but I mean, your time comes and boom, they're, 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 they're still available. So that can be kind of a fun little moment, but, but yeah, so, um, best available, best available. So yeah. So again, it, some of these, some of these strategies you have, some people decide to pick a quarterback later. Um, I will advise, I will advise this. Do not forget, don't forget about your quarterback position. Okay. If you can, I mean, if you start, you know, if you start getting into round seven or eight or whatnot, I mean, you know, when you don't have a quarterback by then, you know, you, you, you're looking at getting one. So, um, you know, now we're looking, we got our flex and so the, you can really tell we're, we're beginning to kind of drop off here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so looking up, we got here, Johan Dotson, AJ, you know what, AJ Dillon, you know, the Packers, I'll, I'll go with AJ Dillon. Why not? I think he, he could have a pretty good year and he's, he's, he's kind of a safe, he's kind of a safe player. So, um, but yeah, so, but look at this. <laughs> oh, we're starting to drop off here. Yeah. But going back to the quarterback position, it, you, if you don't draft a quarterback earlier, I mean, do not forget about it. Okay. If you don't draft a tight end earlier, do not forget to draft a tight. I mean, the tight end, the, the tight end position is, is a little bit more forgiving. Um, just because, I mean, if you don't draft a tight, tight end, your tight end is not going to put up, unless it's a top three tight end, they're not really going to be, they're not really going to make or break your season, so to speak, or they're, you know, they, they don't necessarily win games for you. I mean, if it's a really close, you know, you'll be happy. I mean, if it's a neck and neck with a, if you're neck and neck with someone, and you have a really good tight end. Yeah. They could win the game for you, but traditionally they don't put up that, they don't put up a whole lot of points, so to speak, compared to, you know, compared to a wide receiver or a quarterback or whatnot. So, but yeah, <laughs> keep, keep an eye. If, if you do, if you do decide to fade, fade a position, meaning you decide to pick it, you know, let it go a little bit later, a little bit later, a little bit. I mean, do not forget about do not forget about the position you decide to fade, whether it be a quarterback or a tight end, or even a running back. You know, in some cases, you know, don't forget about to you know look look to your left here, and uh, you know, do not forget to you know if <laughs> don't forget about to don't forget about the positions you decide to fade, <clears throat> you know, to later rounds. <clears throat> so. All right, so we have a running back, and we let's see. We're so we're at our bench now. It's a little bit too early it's, for me personally. It's a little bit too early to pick a defense or a, or a kicker or whatnot. So let's just go with uh, Juju. Here we go. Boom. There's him on the on the spot right there. And again, um, I'm I'm repeating myself a little bit in this video just to kind of reiterate some things, but just to kind of hit home on what we're trying to accomplish here. So again, going to the bench. You don't need two quarterbacks on your team. You don't need two tight ends. You don't need two kickers. You, you don't need two defensive special teams. You, you know that. And the some of the years past, you know, we didn't really take that into account. And we had eight bench. We had eight bench positions. I think it probably actually hurt this. It probably hurt more than it helped to do that. Um, it's not bad to. So, you know, it can be kind of fun to have. You know. The, the, some of those extra players, but I mean, you're trying to, we're trying to make the season more fair and we're trying to make it more competitive. And so when you sit there and you have two, sometimes three quarterbacks on, on a roster, you know, come on, that's, that's kind of ridiculous. So we're trying to prevent that. So, you know, I'm going to be going through, I'm going to be going through round five. I'm going to be going through five bench players here, and then I'll cut the video. But, um, but yeah, so, Yeah, we only need five bench players this year. And bench number five is a, is a burner. It's kind of a burner spot. You keep your four, you know, you keep, you know, you, you know, if you have an extra running back or two running back, you know, one running back, three wide receivers, that bench, that burner five, that bench number five spot, you can put anybody there. And, you know, the, the, that's an easy, that's an easy drop. So if your quarterback gets hurt, you know, you can blow that, you can, you can, but you want to keep him on your roster. You put your quarterback at number five and then you just go out and stream and stream another quarterback. Well, there are still going to be some decent quarterbacks up there, you know, in our system. There, there will, this year we only have five bench spots. We're, there's still going to be some de decent quarterbacks out there, assuming that you don't have people putting, 
putting up like two quarterbacks in, in on their team or whatnot. So, all right, what do we need? You know, running back, wide receiver. We go with another running back. Here we go. Uh, boom. Saman J. Perrine. We'll go with him. Um, he's supposed to have a decent year, I guess. Um, so, yeah. So, it, it, see, here we go. So, it, I'm looking at the right right over here. It looks like some of the defensive uh, special teams are are going out. Um, I, I mean, it, just about in every single strategy, you're going to have people picking their defense and their kicker almost like just next, almost just at the very last round. So I'll go through the, I'll go through the process of the bench here and then I'll pick, I'm going to, I'll show you just, you know, what it looks like picking a defense and a kicker in the last rounds. I mean, I mean, I guess you could pick one in the round you know, here, here later. I mean, why not? You're going to be playing them anyway. But I mean, a defensive or a kicker, they're not. I mean, they'll they'll help they'll help. You know, but they're not necessarily they're not necessarily going to make or break a season for you. I mean, the, the defensive kickers, they the kickers put up some points. The defense, eh. It, it's it's literally any given Sunday. I mean. Let's see, one on a one back, one on here. Here we go. Here we go. DJ Chark will pick him. I mean, it's literally any given Sunday. I mean, you could have a you could have Pat even Pat Mahomes or Jalen Hurts. I mean, you know, they're they're playing on fire, but all of a sudden, you know, they you know, they they have an they have an away game or they're just something happened and they're playing a good team either away or at home and they have a you know, they don't have they put up half they put up half the points of what they usually put up, you know, Jalen Hurts or Pat Mahomes, you know, they put up you know, thirty a game. Well, you know, any given Sunday, you're you're <laughs> you never know. I mean, they they you know a, a a bad day for them is a is a great day for some others. But you know, they one day they go on, they put up seven, you know, put up thirty. But then you know, Pat or Pat Mahomes or Jalen, you know, they put up 17, 17 or eighteen points, and you know, you have to you have to take into account for that could happen. So that that's why you know that's why it helps to have. Cons- consistency and those guys are definitely consistent and they're probably not the best example but I mean you know do you want a quarterback do you want to pick a quarterback in the earlier rounds it's going to pick up you know put up 25 25 points a game you know to some degree or, or would you rather go later and put up a quarterback that's going to put up you know 15 or 16 consistently it's all about you know your preference and what you feel comfortable with so all right, here the very last position here. Tyler Hill. Oh my goodness, we're we're really at the bottom here. Um, so here we we want another we want another flex spot. We want to go with uh, what's pretty good here. Here we go. Here we go. Tyler Algier. He looks like he might have a good season. He's uh, put up some pretty put up some good uh, put up some good numbers in one of the preseason games the other day. Okay, so here we go. So we have our we have all our spots right here. Um, you know, quarterback through D, you know, quarterback through the flex. We have everybody here. We have our five bench. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we have our five bench here. So now we got to move over here to um, deep. We'll pick a deep. So what we'll do is we'll pick a defense first. We'll put a defense. Oh my gosh, the Patriots are still up there. <laughs> wow, it's it's no it's no no hiding the fact that the Patriots were the number one defense last year. Um, that's just a, that's just a fact. That's just a common fact. Um, so yeah, we'll pick the defense and then we'll pick the kicker last, and then we'll we'll end we'll end this video. But um, I hope you have enjoyed um, going through this uh, kind of just a mock up with me. Oh my gosh, the Patriots are there! Holy moly! All right, we're gonna pick those guys and then we're gonna pick a kicker. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this 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 information info info video on a, a mock draft and going through the draft system. But yeah, this is just a this is exactly what the draft the official draft is going to look like for our group on draft day here in a couple weeks. And uh, you know, hope this helps. If not, if if anything, go go out and do some mocks on your own. I, I I'll um I'll put the uh, I'll put the I'm going to put out a uh, a league email here but um i'll put the i'll put the link out again but yeah go out and do some mock, mock-ups on your own i mean go up and you know you can you can pick your own you can pick your own spot you can pick yourself at, on these as number two or number number eight or whatnot so um number nine or you can pick yourself you can, you can decide to do a mock and pick yourself in the top five or the bottom five or 
pretty much anywhere you want and that'll that'll be good be a good strategy for you and just you don't have to put a put a whole lot of time into it but it, it would be good to get familiar with the system like we're doing here so that when it comes draft time you know you have a little bit of a sense of kind of what you have a little bit of a sense of what's going on so oh my goodness tyler bass he has consistently been good for buffalo so we pick tyler bass okay well hey that uh we're, we're all set that wraps it up and i hope you enjoy our video and have a i wish you all the, the best of luck it, it, as much as i can and if you have any questions or anything do not hesitate to shoot me an email and um but it's going to be another great season and uh, i'm excited to have you uh, in my league this year okay well uh pe peace out peace out for now bye bye